vengeance shall be mine. orders, sir. No visit. Open the door. Getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us! Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. You know this is going to end badly, right? We have a controlled environment. The spawning pool is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, 
Wait till you see this. I'll make some zerglings. Kerrigan? What are you doing? Putting your controlled environment to the test. Stop! I didn't ask you to create zerglings! Funny thing about zerg, Valerian. They never do what you expect. Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. Lock down on the sublevel and power up the eradicator. Nothing gets out! Maybe if I destroy your pretty eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the Zerg. I sense more Zerglings in holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. Containment breach. Zerg specimens free. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. Kerrigan, this is not a game. It never is with the Zerg. You've made your point, Kerrigan. Not yet, I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. Eradicator destroyed. Situation critical. The Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility? Evacuate. This is Nova. Begin your sweep. Find Kerrigan. Bravo team, acknowledge. Jim, do you read me? We read you. Kerrigan, I'm glad you're alive, but we're cut off from your location. You'll have to fight your way across the lab to the tram station. That will take you to Jim's ship. Roger that, Junior. We can handle it. Back in the saddle. Let's move out. Almost to the tram station. It'll take us right to the shuttle bay. The corridor is blocked. You'll have to cut through the sublevel to reach the tram. Come in, Valerian. The main corridor is blocked. Can you open side door A12? I can. Be ready, though. The Zerg specimens got loose in the attack. Yes, 
I can sense them down there, but I don't think I should control them again. I won't ask you to do that. We'll handle them. The door will open in three, two, one. Kerrigan, my forces have taken control of the security hub. We're putting this facility on lockdown. Make this easy on everyone, and surrender now. They're trying to trap us. Come on, darling! We gotta make it through those doors! This reminds me of the old days. My hair's got more gray in it. And my hair's got more zerg. Right. Lord, woman. How many zerglings did you make? Yeah, I may have gone a little overboard. Looks like a rough fight. They have caged Zerg in there. We can use this console to set them loose. Or we can use it to activate the gas defenses. What the hell? Who opened the cages? Jim, we're in full retreat. I'm en route to the Hyperion. Roger that, Valerian. Hail us when you're on the bridge. Just you and me now, Jim. Let's move out. I can see the bay. We're almost there. The Dominion is deploying some kind of heavy mech in the shuttle bay. Move out! We have to hold them off until the evacuation is complete. Almost there. Let's follow these guys to the shuttle bay. Archangel in position. I've got the shuttle bay secured. All Dominion forces, push forward. Jim, the Archangel is between us and your shuttle. Jim! Damn it. Sarah, I'll find another way to you. Well, you better hurry, or I'll kill this thing without you. Hurry up, Jim. I think another wave is incoming. Sarah, I'm cut off. I can't get to your location. Take my ship and go. We just found each other again. I am not leaving you behind. Rayner, Kerrigan, I'm on the Hyperion. We're setting course for the rendezvous. What is your status? Kerrigan is taking my dropship. I need extraction. I understand, and I'm sending a team for you. Do not screw this up, Valerian. Kerrigan, I'll see you at the rendezvous. And I'm sorry I didn't listen to you sooner. It's too late for apologies, Valerian. Jim, I'll take your ship. But if you get yourself killed, you're in huge trouble. <laughs> yes, I'm noted. Jim, Dominion reinforcements are arriving. The Hyperion is taking heavy fire and my team can't reach you. Roger that. Get the Hyperion to the rendezvous. I'll find another way off-world. See you there. Nova! Well, well, Jim Rayner. If you'd helped me with my Tosh problem, I might have looked the other way while you got out. But you chose poorly. All right, Blondie. Take your shot.
FF negative. Multiple hostiles inside the perimeter. Scramble attack response squads, three through nine. Hull breach, frame seven, deck three. Defensive maneuver, Delta four. Prep all stations for jump. No one is going anywhere until I see Jim. Shield to 30. Failure imminent. Multiple Dominion attacks. fleet, Frank this is Hyperion. Cease fire. Crown Prince Valerian is aboard. My father will sacrifice any piece on the chessboard to take the queen. We have to jump now. We'll lead them away and circle back for Jim. Decompress Sarah! We need to work together. Do what you want. I'm going to find Jim. Scanning. Detecting Dominion forces and a Zerg hive cluster. Yeah, there must be an old hive here. I'm more worried about the Dominion. Ground team, this is Fleet. What is your status? Fleet, our base is set up, and the Dragon Pulse Cannon is almost online. Roger that. Eliminate all stragglers as they warp to these coordinates. We'll return for you. Fleet out. That cannon will take out Jim's ship as soon as he enters orbit. He'll never see it coming. Set course for the Zerg Hive Cluster. I need an army. I can sense a mind controlling this brood. Who are you? My queen, I am Nakjul, a brood mother. You created us to extend your control of the swarm. Have you returned to us? I'm not your queen and I haven't returned, but I need your brood to destroy the Terran cannon right now. Most of my brood is with me. I can send them to you, but it will take time. Then send them. When they arrive, we'll tear down that cannon before Jim gets here. Meanwhile, I'm going to prepare this hive for combat. The Dominion would have tracked my ship and they'll be looking for me. Command, we've found Kerrigan. She's holed up in a Zerg base. We're going in. Send reinforcements. The Dominion found us. They're going to hit us hard. The worms are tunneling to you right now! My brood will be there soon! My brood has come! They are yours to command, my queen! Perfect. Now let's get up to their base and destroy that cannon before Jim arrives. The gun is destroyed! The Terrans are fleeing to their ships! Kill them all. No one gets out alive. Yes! The Queen has returned! Kill the Terrans! The Queen? You're right. I was slipping back into something that... I have to get out of here. We will await your return. Jim, are you on this frequency? Jim, are you out there? I'm at the rendezvous. It's all clear here. I've been thinking about what you said. There's something dark in me, Jim. I need you. I 
need you to hear me right now. Online. Destination, Zerg Space. Confirm. Confirmed. That's why I'm here. They'll either accept me as their queen, or I'll start killing them one by one until they do. What are you? I am Isha. Your Majesty used to store all her ideas, thoughts, and plans within me. Do you not remember? Yes, I do remember you. More importantly, you remember me. You are the Queen of Blades. I obey. Perfect. Summon the Swarm and prepare to move on Core Hall. The Swarm is in disarray and will not answer your call. Most Zerg on Calder are under the command of Broodmother Nefash. She seeks to create her own swarm. While she lives, the swarm will be divided. Not for long it won't. Take us down to the surface. The scouts report that Nefash set up a hive on this plane, but abandoned it shortly after. She moved off into those ice valleys. That must be where the Protoss are. Tell me about this Leviathan. It is the organism from which you command the swarm, and this is its nerve center. And it can take me to any world I wish? Of course, my queen, but our numbers are few. Before conquering other worlds, you may wish to reclaim your forces here on Calder. Leave the strategy to me. Now, what else can I do on this Leviathan? You can evolve and upgrade your swarm in the Evolution Pit. The creature Abathur can help you. What are you? Abathur. Evolve Swarm, Spin Strands and Sequences. Served Overmind, then served Queen of Blades. Now serve you. 
I am the Queen of Blades. Mm, different. Examining genetic strands. Queen of Blades was efficient. Ancient Zerg qualities. Minor Terran influence. You, infected with more Terran matter. Grasper limb poorly designed. Can improve. We'll give it back better. Don't touch me. Only focus is evolving the swarm. Seek perfection in all things. Work in evolution pit. Can review my work here. Swarm suffering on this moon. I thought you'd made my Zerg stronger than this. Calder as cold as deep space. Other than Leviathan, no reason to specialize Swarm for such cold. Is that an excuse? Wasteful to spin unnecessary adaptations. Complexity bad. Not needed before. Needed now. We'll look for local fauna. Essence useful for Swarm adaptation. Do it. This moon has pockets of intense cold, called flash-freeze storms. One such storm is approaching. It will push temperatures down so fast that almost all thermal energy will be lost. The storm will pass quickly, but while it is here, your troops will be frozen in place. I can sense indigenous creatures nearby. Their matriarchs have powerful essence, strong enough to help us adapt to this cold. The flash freeze is near. I just have to find an Ursodon matriarch. Essence assimilated. Swarm resistant to flash freeze. Excellent. And now I can sense Nefasha's hive cluster nearby. Nefasha's brood. The Protoss must have wiped them out. I'll awaken this hive cluster for the swarm. The Protoss sense the awakening. They are aware of our presence. The Queen of Blades. But what has happened to you? Frail and human. Protoss, I wondered when you'd show yourselves. We must inform Shakuras. They will send the Golden Armada. They will destroy you. Isha, tell me the Protoss are out of range of Shakuras. They are, my queen. However, the Protoss have silent spires that can amplify their psionic communication. Then we destroy those spires before the Protoss can activate them. One down. Even if you destroy our spires, we will get word to Shakuras! Flash Freeze Storm has arrived. Press our advantage. Destroy the Protoss. Isha, drop a hatchery at this location. I need the swarm. The Golden Armada will be your end! One more left. It's no use, Kerrigan. Shakuras will destroy you! In a few moments, there will be a flash freeze. The flash freeze storms are getting shorter. It will be harder to take advantage of the storms. Matriarch essence assimilated. Swarm perfectly adapted to fight in flash freeze storms. I feel stronger. The spires have fallen! Retreat! The Protoss expedition will be unable to contact Shakuras. Now they have to deal with us. We captured a prisoner in the Wastes and subdued her, my queen. She says she is a researcher. I didn't order you to take prisoners. Abathur requested it. He wants to dissect her. What's the point? He won't be able to use Protoss genetic material. He likes to try. Actually, keep her alive for now. I might find a use for her. What are your people doing here? 
We study this moon to see if its rotation can be altered, its climate improved. Do you understand? We are only colonists, and you are killing us. Yes. And if I let you live, you'll call your Golden Armada and they will kill me. Kill thousands to save yourself. Is that how you justify this? I justify nothing. There is no moral high ground here. Your people have killed billions of Zerg. We are all covered in blood. There may be more on my hands than yours, but in the end we are both killers. The hunt goes well, my queen. It's bloody. Those Protoss would kill you if they could. They are not Zerg. That means they are the enemy. Is it that simple? For Zerg, it is. Whatever my queen has lost, think what she has gained. Purity of essence. You are the will of the swarm. Nefash's brood lives again within the swarm. When the Protoss struck, she fell back to prepared positions in the ice valleys. The Protoss had to hunt her down. She was intelligent, careful, and tenacious, but she made one mistake. She ran away. What is that sound? Failed experiments. Reverting to biomass. Slow process. At least put them out of their misery first. Wasted effort. Creatures will die soon. Pain irrelevant. When you say things like that, Abathur, I almost remember you. And I feel... anger. Anger product of adrenaline. Stress response. Imminent threat. No threat to you. No anger. I'll be the judge of that. The Protoss are preparing shuttles for launch. A warp conduit. I sense millions of Protoss mines on the other side. Shakuras! If a single shuttle passes through, they can alert Shakuras to our presence. Should we destroy it then? No, they would detect that. Our only choice is to stop their shuttles from reaching the conduit. Nafash's hydralisks. Abathur, assimilate their essence into the swarm. Hydralisk reconstituted can morph from larva. I need more hydralisks to destroy these shuttles. My queen, the Protoss have launched a shuttle. It is en route to a warp conduit. Not if I have anything to say about it. We will bring down that shuttle. Engage the Hive directly. Our shuttles must break through. You will never leave this ball of ice. The Protoss launched another shuttle. This one is accompanied by a fighter escort. You cannot stop us all, Kerrigan! The Protoss are launching two sets of shuttles. Tenacious bastards. All launch bays have been destroyed. The Protoss are crippled. Good. The warp conduits are useless to them now. You've done it, my queen. The Protoss threat is removed. Nothing is done. Until they are all dead. I feel my queen's hatred burning like a star. But there is something underneath it I do not understand. It's pain, Isha. Sometimes even my hatred can't shield me from memories. Of an enemy who damaged you? No. Memories of better times. Of a friend now lost. Our scouts report a large Protoss ship on the other side of the moon. The interstellar ship that used to travel here. It is not yet ready for launch, but it will be before we can get to it. They're tenacious. I'll give them that. But I am ready for this. You do not have to do this. You could leave. Be away from this moon before the Golden Armada arrives. I can't run. 
I know that now. My enemies will never stop coming for me. All I can do is fight. Then there will never be peace. <laughs> peace? I'm going to look into your memories and find out why I feel so angry when I see you. Memories not important. Distractions. I see it in your mind. You designed the Queen of Blades. Your limbs wrapped me in the chrysalis. Weak and soft. Broke bones. Tore flesh. Improved you. <laughs> if you weren't important to my plans, you'd be dead right now. Unclear. One of your ships escaped. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. <laughs> Your friends on that ship can sense you. They know they left one behind. No. But they can't warp you to their ship, because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil... Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! You let the other Protoss take her? She will be their death. The, the Templar must be warned! Now. Listen carefully. This ship contains many dangers. Follow my commands and hide in the shadows. You will consume and grow. Infest this ship and kill every last Protoss on board. Now go and spawn your brood. A zealot. Use your parasitic invasion to hide within that creature. What was that noise? All right. He's gone. Consume your host and move on. There's no way around those zealots. Invade the Ursodon and crush them. The Zerg have infested the Ursodon! So the Protoss think they have a few infested animals. They have no idea what they're up against. The time has come for you to grow into a brood mother. Stop here. This area is safe from prying eyes. Evolve. Grow. You are Niadra. This is your purpose. Spawn a brood and destroy the Protoss. Kill them all. I live to serve. Kill these creatures! I can consume their biomass and use it to grow our brood! The Zerg have infiltrated our vessel! Warriors, destroy them! Tear down their defenses! Nothing stops the swarm! The energy! It is overwhelming! You found their warp drive. Destroy it, and this vessel will never reach Shakuras. Warning. A warp drive breach has occurred. Evacuate immediately. Contain them! The Zerg must not reach the stasis chambers! The explosions have stopped. Wait. There is a disturbance in the chamber ahead. Emergency. Power failure detected. Awakening Protoss warriors from stasis. The ship has taken us as far as it can. Prepare the escape pods! Destroy the pods before they launch. The Protoss must not reach Shakuras. We will never be defeated! We give our lives for the color! Yes, you will. The Protoss are no more, my queen. 
My queen, can you hear me? We are alone. The Queen of Blades has given us one purpose. To destroy the Protoss. We will be prepared. We will serve again. There's no turning back now. I do not understand. The Protoss will never forgive what I've done here. If my becoming human again eased their fears, well, I've given them new reasons to be afraid. But I'm not going to wait for them to come after me. I'll strike first. It is done. The Golden Armada will never know we were here. I am glad that Protoss is no longer aboard our Leviathan. Her psionic presence was disturbing. She died bravely, trying to save her friends. Why do you care how the Protoss died? I will kill anyone in my way. That doesn't mean I enjoy it. Even Arcturus Mengsk, my queen? Will his death bring you no joy? Stop talking, Isha. Placed Parasite into Protoss host. Yes. What about it? Clever. Lateral thinking. Protoss not able to be infested, but can still be host to foreign organism. Origins of Parasite unknown. I made it, Abathur. You're not the only one who can spin sequences. Revelation. We'll continue work. to see Menk's dead called me here. The Zerg will help me destroy Korhal. You must let Zerus remake you, Kerrigan. The final war nears, and there is little time. I don't have to do a damn thing. I will not be a pawn in your prophecies. 
But you will do anything to have your revenge. Anything. Then that is enough. Why are you helping me, Zeratul? You have more cause to hate me than most. The Zelnaga wish you restored as the leader of the Swarm. You know I don't believe in your mad prophecies. Your belief is not required. I act for the greater good, though it earns me the hatred of my own people. Spare me your self-pity, Zeratul. Everyone has to make peace with their own choices. I made my peace long ago. When we are done here, I will return to my people and accept their judgment. We all have to pay for our actions someday. I guess your day is almost here. I'm looking through the eyes of my overlords. These primal zerg are fascinating. They show no signs of age. All organisms age, even zerg. But the primals feed off the essence of individuals. They're in a state of constant evolution. They don't die. Until they are killed by another primal. True. The most successful hunters among them must be incredibly ancient and incredibly dangerous. I sense something. An ancient consciousness sleeping. Mm. The Ancient One. A primal zerg who witnessed the creation of the Overmind. You want me to awaken it, don't you? If you truly seek the power of Zerus, you will need the Ancient One. My queen, enemy primals are massing nearby. They are going to attack us. They wish to stop you from speaking with the Ancient One. What will you do? What my enemies fear most. Always. You are on the path, and no longer need my guidance. You will not see me again, Kerrigan. So this is the Ancient One. To awaken this creature, we must feed it. There's a lot of biomass here. We'll kill these Quilgore and have drones harvest meat from their corpses. Once the drone is done harvesting, it will drag the biomass to the Ancient. Rat speech now! You intrude on my territory, corrupt sir. We will devour your flesh! Warning. A force of Primal Zerg Flyers is preparing to assault the Hive Cluster. Mutalisks reconstituted, ready for your armies, will destroy Primal Guardians. Primal Zerg forces are massing nearby. They are likely to attack again. Let them try. This pack of Quilgore is our first target. Let's move out. Harvest successful. The biomass is in transit to the Ancient One. The biomass has been consumed. The Ancient One will require more to awaken. Then find more Quilgor, Isha. Yes, my queen. She must not wake the Ancient. Destroy the meat. Leave her nothing. We have to stop them. Our forces can intercept their raiding parties. This ends now, corrupt Zerg. I will kill you myself! Defend the Hive Cluster! Ancient One, I am here for the power of Zerus. I will sacrifice anything to achieve my goal. You will help me.
You swarm bears the mark of Amon, the fallen Zernaga who came to Zerus long ago. He forged the Zerg into a weapon and took them away. Yet, some of us were hidden, overlooked. We multiplied. We remain pure. If you seek our power, you must become Primal Zerg. You must become pure. My queen, why did we wake the Ancient One? Its power outstrips even yours. The Ancient One is key to unlocking the power of Xerus, and I need that knowledge. Will it not destroy us? It's called a gamble. It's something Terrans do when their instincts tell them the time is right. I see. Just as when the Terran James Raynor came to Char to return you to your original form. Yes. Just like that. The thing about gambles, Isha, is that sometimes you lose. Primal Zerg say the swarm is corrupted. What did the fallen Zelnaga Amon do to us? He desired our strength, the ability to steal essence. But we were independent. We would not follow. And so he bound the Zerg to a single overriding will. They lost their identity and became his slaves. The hive mind. That's Amon's corruption? It is. And a terrible fate for a strong primal Zerg. You have come to this place seeking power. Power to kill Mengsk. Tell me what I must do. The power is more ancient even than I. It comes at great cost. What will you sacrifice to have your revenge? Everything. You must feel the power. He calls to you. Go to it. The Primal Zerg have been alerted to your arrival. They are coming for you. Abathur, send me the creature you've been working on. The Swarm Host. Adapted using Primal Essence. Spawns locusts to kill enemies. Primal forces eliminated. Your path is clear. It's a pool. The first spawning pool. It existed before names. From this primordial place, the Zerg arose. Within, one essence split into many. One devoured another and became stronger. The first Zerg. yourself. Evolve. Transform. Transcend. Recommendation. Avoid pool. Catalytic fluid will overwhelm Queen's body. Not strong enough. The Queen's hate is strong enough. And if I survive, it will remake me. I will become more powerful than the old Queen of Blades. Isha. Defend the Hive Cluster and the Chrysalis until I am done. Or dead. As you command. The remnants of Brax forces gather nearby. They are preparing to attack the Hive Cluster. Root our swarm host and crawlers by that entrance. I sense another pack of Primal Zerg gathering across the basin. Hear me, Broken Zerg. You have killed Brock. 
but his pack survives. I claim their territory and their essence. The Primal Zerg factions have engaged each other. We must remain focused on protecting the Chrysalis. The Primal Zerg factions have engaged each other. We must remain focused on protecting the Chrysalis. I have not forgotten you, Broken Pack. Your leader sleeps. She will not wake. My pack will feast upon your essence. Defend the Chrysalis. The Swarm will prevail. Isha, what is a primal Zerg doing on my Leviathan? I am Dehaka, one who collects. I kill. I take essence. Now I come to you because I feel your change. All Zerus feels it. All Zerus fears it and you. But you don't fear me, do you, Dahaka? You shine. You will bring more essence, and I will follow. When you do not, I will not. Well, I forged alliances on shakier ground than that. Very well, you can stay. Betray me and I'll collect your essence. Yes. You radiate so much power, more than the old Queen of Blades ever did. Everything is different. I could always hear the swarm, control it. But now, I feel the swarm. Now I am the swarm. Do you think the remaining pack leaders will join me now? They are a rock, a tree, a hill. They will stand against the wind. They seek power. And you? I am a river. I will flow. I seek essence. Well, the pack leaders have no chance against the swarm now. They gather essence for thousands of years. They are blinded. But they are not foolish. You have been reborn. A primal back leader of boundless power. I feel as if I can rip worlds apart. And are you the equal of Aemon, who once controlled you? He never controlled me. I felt an influence. A trace of something dark, but long gone. Amon must have died before I was infested. I hope it is so. For he truly could rip worlds apart. Genetic strands different. Restructured from base level up. 
Stronger than Queen of Blades. Sequences complex but clean. Completely different at core. Yes, I am different. I am my own master. When the Zelnaga artifact made me human again, it cleansed me of Amon's influence. And that allowed me to become something greater. Must take sample. Study new sequences. Don't even try, Abathur. What I am now is beyond your comprehension. Difficult to admit. New structure beyond understanding will return to work. You must know your enemies. Yandra, a worm whose acid burns like fire. Kraith, immense and consumed by hatred. Sliven, the eternal mother, hollow and destructive. Kill them, and you will command the whole of the Zerg. Each has sent most of its pack against your swarm, leaving themselves vulnerable. Isha, defend the Leviathan. I will deal with the pack leaders myself. Leader of the Broken Pack! No! Is that fear, Yagdra? You do know you never had a chance, right? Your change means nothing! I will melt the flesh from your bones! one would turn on me. Your essence, it called him. And you didn't try to warn me. He was Zerg. You are Zerg. One dies and one grows strong. You know. I think I'm starting to understand you, Daga. You have become strong and taken another world. I think you will conquer the universe. I don't know about that. But the Zerg will never again be pawns of other races, not even the Zelnaga. We have changed. And now, other worlds await. Tell me a 
about your work. Look at flesh. See only potential. Strands, sequences, twisting, separating, joining. See how it could be better. Eat flesh, splinter bone. Inside me can touch it, weave it, spin it, make it great. But not perfect? Never perfect. Perfection goal that changes, never stops moving. Can chase, cannot catch. Hmm. You certainly have your uses. There are two broods on this planet. But there is only one swarm. The rogue brood will be brought back into the fold. You will collect their essence. We'll assimilate them if we can, or kill them if we must. Take their essence, then you will do both. How can Zagara stand against you? Surely she has no chance. Zagara is different than the other broodmothers. Tougher, meaner. You sound as if you admire her. I know something about being cornered and deciding to fight anyway. She won't make it easy. Zagara's brood is currently huddled in Char's Acid Marsh, where you stored millions of eggs for future use. From the location of her hive cluster, it appears Zagara intends to gather as many eggs as she can. She's trying to build an army. But how will she hatch the eggs? She can place them in a birthing pond to quicken. I have located our hive cluster near one such pond. Then I'll collect enough eggs to spawn an army and destroy Zagara. You are not the Queen of Blades. You have no claim here, traitor. Leave Char while you can. These eggs and this swarm belong to me. I have enough eggs. Abathur, infuse the birthing pond. Get those eggs to hatch for me. Simple. Catalytic solution. Accelerated quickening. Army ready in a moment. And now, I will take back my brood. Kill her. I only did as you instructed, my queen. Hold. I told you to rebel against me. You told all your brood mothers to be strong, to fight, to conquer. You said the Zerg lead by force of will. Your will is strongest, and I shall serve you. I will let you live, Zagara. I want to rebuild the swarm, and you are a part of that plan. You are my queen. Zagara is here to serve your will. Tell me, Zagara, how would you drive the Terrans from this world? I would obliterate their fortress on the Dauntless Plateau. But the only way to reach it is through the Bone Trench. Be warned, the Terrans flooded our tunnels with lava. We will be exposed on the surface until we reach the Plateau. That doesn't concern me. Warfield has no idea what he's up against. But what of the Zelnaga artifact? Could the Terrans still possess it? They might, but I know it's not here on Char. It's no threat to us. Do you know why I beat you in battle? You are stronger than I. No. Faster than? No. Do not toy with me, my queen. Tell me your secret. Talk to Abathur in the Evolution Pit. He will tell me? He will change you. Go. There used to be billions of Zerg here. What happened? You dispersed the swarm to search for the parts of a Zelnaga artifact. But when the Terrans came here with that same artifact, 
You recalled the nearest broods to defend you. I see. But what of the broods that were still out in deep space? They went feral. They attacked each other. They died by the millions. That will not happen again. The swarm is growing again. Now for you, Warfield. Reclaiming this world will send a message to your Emperor. I'm coming for him. Tell me about the changes you made to Zagara. Brood Mother template already allowed complex problem solving, learning, ability to command broods, multiple focuses. Now added muscle density, expanded brain matter, now able to hypothesize multiple scenarios, cognitive flexibility. Perhaps I should add this to all future brood mothers. Extraneous brain matter deemed unnecessary for brood mother role in swarm. Extra matter requires extra energy. Also needs to increased independence. This contradicts imperative. Zerg must present no danger to leader of swarm. Times are changing. I want my minions as dangerous as possible. The Bone Trench. This is the only approach to the Terran Fortress. I tried to bring my brood through here once before. The Terrans brought their Gorgon battle cruisers from the skies. They strafed us over and over. My brood bled and died, along with any hope of pushing the Terrans from Char. Wait, those are scourge nests. They can bring down a Gorgon. We just need to reawaken them. My queen, we should simply race through the trench, not waste time fighting Gorgons. If we surprise the Terrans, we can make it through with acceptable losses. And if we don't, the swarm dies. You need to learn vision, Zagara. Planning, calculation, cunning. We can use this creep tumor to spawn a tumor near the Scourge Nest. Once it's awake, Warfield's Gorgon is done for. My queen, General Warfield has called in a Gorgon. It is headed for our Hive Cluster. That ship is huge. No wonder Warfield can't deploy two of them into the trench at once. He only needs one. Hurry. Spread creep to those scourge nests so we can place a creep tumor by them. That will awaken the scourge nest. I hope it is enough to destroy the Gorgon. Awaken. Annihilate that Gorgon. This is the beginning of the end, Warfield. The Scourge Nest spent its entire life force to take out the Gorgon. We have more. Get a creep tumor by the next one. Move! Got another one. Lead this planet to me, Warfield. Never, Kerrigan. General Warfield called in another Gorgon, my queen. Lots of bones in that trench. All Zerg. You'll join them soon enough. Get a strike team to that Scourge Nest before the Zerg activate it. Another Gorgon down. Keep it up. Awaken more Scourge Nests. I claimed this planet in the name of the Terran Dominion. I'm not gonna lose it. Oh, I think you are. This is your last Gorgon, isn't it? Pull back! Repeat! All Dominion forces in the trench! Retreat! We've lost control! Kerrigan, this is Warfield. I know you can hear me. I have a message for you. Bring everything you have. Bring your whole swarm! I don't want to hunt down stragglers after we wipe you out. I'll see you on the Dauntless Plateau, old man. My queen, I have been contacted by Kalisa, a broodmother. She has heard of your accomplishments 
and wishes to return her brood to the swarm. Her brood is small in number, but it has strong leviathans. Kalisa, hear me. The planet Mista 4 is a hub of Dominion military production. Take your brood there and destroy it. Do that, and you will earn your place within the swarm. It shall be as you say, my queen. It is a good sign that some of your brood mothers are returning to the fold. I wonder why they are willing to give up their independence. Perhaps not all of them wish to rule the swarm. And perhaps they know there is safety in numbers. Your strategy against the Terrans was strange, but I understand it now. Abathur's changes are bearing fruit. Do you remember what I told you on the battlefield? Vision. Is this like cunning? No. Viciousness? Abathur, go to him. His work is painful. His work will make you understand Vision. I will go. I don't need to read Warfield's mind to know what he's planning for me. He has no idea what he's up against. We've reached the Terran Fortress. They're dug in and ready for us. There is no room for subtlety here. We will go after them wherever they are, and overwhelm them. Prepare for nuclear launch! I want the only thing left of these bugs to be glowing corpses. General Warfield is activating his nuclear arsenal. We have to move fast. Zagara, you set up a hive cluster while I take this wave and do as much damage as I can. I will ready a hive cluster for the swarm while you do as much damage as you can, my queen. Send me reinforcements when you can. This is going to be bloody. Repel the Zerg assault! Don't budge an inch! Incoming Zerg! Get the wounded to the evac ships! We're running out of time. Wipe them out, men! These bugs will never take charge. Time for the nuclear option! Kill them all! Cluster barely survived that blast, my queen. Warfield will drop more nukes on us as his arsenal comes online. Our only hope is to breach his tactical operations center. Once we're inside, it's all over. I have created something to help you destroy the Terrans. The aberration. Sequences sloppy, yet effective. Use them, my queen. Take control of the base, and the Terrans will learn to fear the swarm. Damn it! You'll regret this, Kerrigan. Leave Char. If you stay, I will slaughter your men to the last. Damn it, girl! We saved you! How could you return to this? The way is clear. Go, hunt them all down but leave General Warfield to me. <coughs> Lieutenant, get the wounded to those shuttles. We're almost there. Should I send a team to get you? I'm fine, Lieutenant. Just see to those wounded. <laughs> uh, I'll get out another way. with men too injured to ever be a threat to you. <coughs> Husbands, fathers, 
You let those shuttles go. You hear me? <laughs> You're not even human anymore. You betrayed us all. <clears throat> For what? Petty revenge? How many innocents have you killed? How many more have to die? What if Raina could see you right now? fight it is to the death all or nothing i will serve you and learn from you and perhaps someday i will lead the swarm but not today and what lesson did i teach you vision my queen you taught me vision the swarm is powerful but power is not enough for its leader I defeated Warfield not through numbers or strength. I simply possessed vision, and he did not. I will remember it, my queen. Another world for the swarm. The broods are coming back together. Our enemies should fear us. There is still much to do. We are numberless, we are relentless, and we are evolving. We are also done on Char. I will decide on our next destination soon. During the battle, the Terrans launched thousands of these devices at the Leviathan. They are not weapons. It's a two-way communicator. The Queen of Blades. I knew you'd return to your true form. A monster. Now, you'll do exactly as I tell you if you care at all about Jim Rayner. <laughs> yes, he's alive. So you'll keep your swarm away from Korhal and away from me, or he dies. That man sacrificed everything to give you back your humanity, and you threw it away. <laughs> How he must be disgusted by you. Why, he'd be first in line to kill you. I can't sense Jim out there. If he is alive, nothing in this universe will stop me from finding him. There's no other creature like you in the swarm. Where did your essence come from? The Overmind spun me from many species, a brood of one. What did you do after the Overmind died? Wandered the tunnels of Char without purpose. Pharaoh, Queen of Blades, found me, made me Zerg again. You aren't Zerg unless you're under someone's control. Without overriding will, am beast. Less. We are picking up a strange psionic signal. It is Zerg in origin, but not part of the swarm. I know you seek to topple Mengsk. 
His alien soldiers, the hybrid, are your greatest threat. If you wish to stop them, meet me at these coordinates. If the Dominion is controlling hybrid, our invasion of Korhal will fail. This lab must be destroyed. My queen, the infested Terran who contacted you waits over there. He claims to know you. Who are you? You do not recognize me? I am Alexis Stokov. We were enemies once. Well, we both seem to be Zerg now. Indeed, and we share a common goal, the destruction of this facility. It is here that Mengsk breeds the hybrid. Combining Protoss and Zerg DNA to create monstrous creatures of immense power. Then we'll destroy this facility together. This isn't just about getting rid of the hybrid threat, is it? Why are you helping me? They held me here for many years. I survived experiments, torture and worse. Now I will see it burn. You were the only one I could think of with the power and will to aid me. Infested. Held captive. Experimented on and hunted. We have some things in common. Contact the brood mothers. Tell them to bring their leviathans to this system. Should they unleash their broods upon the station? No. Zagara and I will lead our broods in the assault. So the other broods will simply hold in orbit? I want them nearby. After we destroy this station, we're going after Jim. The infested Terran. I have never seen his like. He is powerful, but closed off. Where is he from? Stukov is from Earth. A few years ago, they sent an invading force here. I remember it. I destroyed them. As it should be. I thought Stukov was killed. I heard reports that he'd been resurrected, that he'd been infested, then cured. If he's been a prisoner here all these years, anything is possible. This lift is the only entrance into the laboratories. It is also the second most heavily defended location in Dominion space. So they've got a lot of Marines. We'll use those numbers against them. Bring in my infestors. We're going to implant virophages of these garrisons. Once they've infested the Terrans inside, I'll use them to secure the landing bay. We'll clear it before the Dominion can even react. Kill every last one of these Dominion bastards. The Zerg are infesting the facility. Release the gas. My queen, the gas is destroying the infested Terrans. We can always infest more. They're only killing themselves. Chemical warfare. Efficient delivery mechanism. Gas unstable. Once Dominion reserves run out, we'll require time to synthesize more. And that's when we resume our attack. Until then, we'll hold here and defend the Virophages. There are more garrisons nearby. Infest them, and our swarm will grow. Let's burn this place before they come creeping again. Get that bridge extended and wipe out that hive. I want these Zerg off my platform! My queen, the swarm is ready to enter the laboratory at your command. Good. It's time we found out what's waiting inside. I have been contacted by another brood mother. Ryloth has been keeping her large brood out of the conflict. She is impressed with you and wishes to bring her brood back into the swarm. Broodmother Ryloth, hear me. Take your brood to Jontor too. 
This is where the Dominion manufactures their newest ships. Destroy that world for the swarm. It shall be done, my queen. Skyger Station. The Dominion's secret weapons lab. This is the heart that makes X hybrid breeding program. Tell me about the hybrid. Zerg and Protoss DNA combined. Something that should not be possible. And these creatures will follow Mengsk's orders? He believes they will. I am not so sure. This place is very far out of the way, but it's guarded as if it were Korhal itself. The Terrans must greatly prize that which lies within. But technology at this scale... This is beyond Mengsk's engineers. Perhaps they have help from something greater than themselves. If there are any answers, they are inside. This place of metal and stone. Why? You're not impressed? The Primal Zerg couldn't build something like this. I do not need a wall. I will evolve armor. I do not need a weapon. I will evolve claws. The Toolmakers might create something stronger than your armor and claws. Their tools stay the same. I collect. I change. Be quick. I have a battle to command. I must warn you about the being that runs this lab. Dr. Narud. An ancient shapeshifter who has worn many faces over the years. He made me what I am. So he's not a Terran? Protoss? He can't be Zerg or I would know. None of those. He is the servant of an ancient Zalnaga known as Amon. I learned of Amon on Zerus. He's dead. Well, his creation lives on. Narud is the most dangerous being you've ever met. And you will face him in there. We're inside. Kerrigan, this lab houses the culmination of Narud's research. The hybrid. They are the ultimate weapon of the final war. The hybrid are waking up. What's happening to you? It's attacking me psionically, draining me. Stay strong. You must kill the hybrid or we are all doomed. Eliminate that hybrid before its attack kills you. Bring it down now! You are not welcome here, Kerrigan. No rude. My queen. Hybrid psionic signatures are appearing across the laboratory. Fulfill your purpose. Kill everything! A hybrid is attacking you psionically. It must be eliminated if you are to survive. One less hybrid. The swarm now controls this section of the lab. We have succeeded, my queen. There are no more hybrid signatures on this level. Have the swarm flood into the lower levels. Kill everyone in our way. Nerud is up to something, and I intend to find out what. I touched Nerud's mind in there. I sensed his devotion to this Amon. Nerud's been trying to resurrect his master for millennia. It makes sense. The endless conflict between Protoss and Zerg, the hybrid, all part of a plan to bring Amon back. Unless we stop him. I wonder how Narut could hope to resurrect a being as powerful as Amon. I think the hybrid are key. They gather psionic energy. But where would they get enough to resurrect a dead god? 
You told me an ancient Zelmaga artifact was used to make you human again. But all the power you wielded as the Queen of Blades, where did it go after your transformation? You mean there might have been hybrid nearby who gathered it? And used it to... Oh no. If Narud used the Zelnaga artifact in that way, he may already have enough energy to resurrect Aemon. We are sensing strange entities in the lab. You mean besides the hybrid and the evil shapeshifter? Protoss, my queen, in great numbers. Yes, I sense them now. Taldarim. They serve Amon willingly. They worship him. They worship a dead god. That makes them even more dangerous. This thing in the lab, this Nerud, it's shielding itself from me, but I can still sense its power. Tell me of it. It's like nothing I faced before. But you destroyed the Ancient One. You captured the power of all Zeras. This is something born of the Void. Cold and empty. But so powerful it hurts. The Zerg have breached the Sanctum! Protoss. Naruda's held these Taldarim in reserve. They are his best troops. The final battle is near. A shame. This Alteralisk might have been useful. Organism Stukov misunderstands. Death irrelevant. Only essence important. Ultralisk reconstituted. Ultimate expression of swarm evolution. We need to secure location for our hive cluster. Then, we deal with Narud. Clear away these fanatics. Eliminate the abominations! Why would Narud build this lab on top of a Zelnaga temple? You know nothing of the Zelnaga. Narud is driving a null zone towards you. It will kill you on contact. These temples are amplifying his power. Stukov, go to the temples and destroy them. I thought you'd never ask. I am channeling psionic energy into this temple, but it will take time. You dare defile the shrines of our god? We shall strike you down! I must focus, but I can still use my powers for the fight. The first temple has deactivated. Excellent work, Stukov. I can feel the root strike slipping. Success, but only for a moment. We must disable the other temples. The second temple has fallen. Squirrel all you like. You will not escape your fate. Defend the temple! Lay waste to these abominations! Many hybrids are coming. This is our final battle. No, it cannot be. Your temples are gone. We've done it. The Null Zone has left Narud weakened, vulnerable. Even so, he's the most powerful being I've ever faced. What will you do? Kill him. Save 
face me, rude. It's over. It is only beginning. Amon whispered of this from the stars. He told you of his return. He told you of ruin, extinction, the end of all things. Your god is dead, and he's never coming back. Is that what you think? My queen, can you hear me? I am... alive. Barely. We dragged you back to the Leviathan. Rest now. I will control the swarm until you are healed. Why... aren't you... trying to... Take the swarm for my own? Because I still have much to learn from you, my queen. Enough. She is healing, but she must rest now. Narod is dead and the hybrid lab is destroyed. I am the final loose end. I suppose you kill me now. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. <laughs> Where would I go? Half man, half zerg. A monster. I understand. Believe me. Stay with the swarm, and perhaps the way will become clear. If nothing else, it will be interesting. Once Jim is safe, I will come for you, Mengsk. And you won't have any hybrid to protect you. Isha, take the Leviathan up. We're leaving. Garrigan. You saw something in that lab. In Narud's mind. I saw Amon. Older than the universe, more powerful than I can understand. And now he's alive again. Then he shall fall before the swarm, like all the rest. We don't even know where he is. We must prepare for his coming. But I have a few scores to settle first.
Valerian. We're picking up some kind of reading. Warning. Psionic waveform detected. Scale. Unclassifiable. Kerrigan. What happened to you? How? There's no time. Listen carefully. Jim is alive and I can't find him. But you can. Hack the Dominion network and figure out where they're holding him. How can we trust her, Valerian? If there's even a chance that Jim is alive, I'm going after him. Hacking the Dominion security network will prove difficult. Only one man can hack that network. Colonel Orlin. And he's being held prisoner by... Mira Han. The mercenary leader? Isn't she a friend of yours? Not exactly. It's complicated. Let's just get this done. Find him, Matt. We both owe it to him. Mira Han, this is Prince Valerian. Do you read me? Of course I do, Princess. I know you're working with Matthew. Put him on, please. You forget yourself, mercenary. Hello, Mira. Matthew, you never write, you never call. It's almost like you don't care. I'm here to ask for your help. You've got Colonel Orlin and we need him. He's the only man who can hack the Dominion's deep encryption network. Well, I'd love to help. I just need the permission of James Raynor. Jim's not here right now. Oh, oh dear. Then I'm afraid I cannot give you Colonel Orlin. Look, Mira. We need Orlin to rescue Jim. Just hand him over. A mercenary's reputation is all that she has, darling. I will not relinquish my prisoner to anyone but the client. Not even to someone with your devilish good looks and brooding intensity. Sorry. We could destroy her operations in this asteroid field. That will get her attention. We'll have to cripple her prime space station. She won't make it easy for us. We need to set up our own base. And one of Mira's fleet stations is nearby. We can take them out and set up our own station. Sensors are showing the location of Mira's station now. We might as well get started. Nice work. We can salvage this base and have it start manufacturing automated fighters for us. Every time it puts a fleet together, it'll send them against Mira's guys. Can we just discuss this with her? It doesn't work that way out here, Valerian. Hey, mag mines! Those babies pack a punch. They come at you in a straight line, so you can dodge them, or even use jump to get out of their way. Oh, Matthew, I hate it when we fight. Do you two have some kind of strange history? Don't encourage her. Matthew. Don't think I will make this easy on you. When have you ever made anything easy on me? I always thought you like it, Roth. Stop! Stop! You win, Matthew. You've destroyed my base and captured my heart all over again. She is very strange. Please, can we just take Colonel Orlin and go right now? I'm sending that disreputable fellow to you in a shuttle. You people are all crazy. Why would I help you? We could send you back to Mira Han. And tell me what you need. I must rebuild Mira's morale thanks to you, Matthew. But I will see you again. Not too soon, I hope. And I thought Dominion politics were vicious. Broodmother Noctul has contacted us. She speaks for the remaining Broodmothers, not under your control. They feel your power and they wish to return to the swarm. Brood mothers, hear me. I am sending you the location of our enemies across the sector. Destroy them. Burn their strongholds in my name. Then, you shall be one with the swarm. We shall do this, my queen. With their return, the swarm will be whole. You are very near to your victory. There will be no essence here. I cannot collect if there is none. We are here because our queen orders it. Do not dare question. I follow for essence. You must learn obedience, primal. 
Yes, come to me. I will collect your essence now. Enough! Zagara, do not speak for me. Tahaka, do not collect from my swarm. Have you found anything? Colonel Orlin is hacking into the Dominion net right now. Tell him he's got one hour. I won't do that, Kerrigan. You're already in over your head. Don't make it worse. If the Dominion sense our intrusion, they'll move Jim or kill him. I am not going to risk failure because you are impatient. So save your threats. You've done some growing up since you, Moja. Zerg are not the only ones who adapt. Very well. I will wait for your expert to do his work. Kerrigan. We found him. Where? He's being held on the Moros, a mobile prison ship that jumps every hour to a randomized set of coordinates. There's no way to predict where it will jump next. They've got to resupply sometime. Exactly. We know the ship will be at the Atlas station for 32 minutes tomorrow. Atlas will send a tanker out to the Moros, but when the fueling's done, it's gone. Our associate Tosh volunteered to infiltrate. No, you've done your part. I'll handle this myself. Be careful, Kerrigan. This place makes New Folsom look like a nursery. I'm in. Our sensors are tracking you. I'll relay any tactical information I can. Be careful, Kerrigan. My father will have made every precaution to ensure no one reaches Commander Raynor. He's not prepared for me. Hit the alarm! The platform retracted. We're going around. She's breaking into maximum security. Stop her now! Bravo engaging. Send back up. Heavy weapons are moving in. Be careful. Kerrigan, it's Horner. The security station near you holds the ship's prisoner log. If you can, grab it. We'll figure out the rest after Jim's safe. Kerrigan, there's a large number of guards nearby. If I implant virophages here, the infested will tear into those defenses. It's your call. This isn't happening. Destroy the coupling! Jettison the prison deck! You heard the man. Blast it! We're cutting the prisoners loose! I did not think you would be so foolish as to come here. And now, your actions will lead to the death of all these brave men. What did he just say? They are all heroes, willing to sacrifice their lives in order to end your miserable existence. You and James Rayner can burn. Kerrigan, we just watched the bridge explode. The Moros is tearing itself apart. You have to save Jim. We're running out of time. Fire, you idiots! Oh, screw this! Run! Where do we go? The whole side of the ship is gone. Smoke gun. Get to the escape pod! Go! 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 This is the prison deck! There aren't any escape pods! The Terran vessel is falling apart. You must hurry, my queen. Zagara, have the Leviathan stabilize this section of the ship. It is done. Hold on, Jim. I'm almost there.
I had to get you out. What have you done? What I had to. Tell that to Phoenix. Tell it to the millions you butchered. You swore you'd kill the Queen of Blades. You were the only one who ever believed in me. Do you still believe in me? I love you, Jim. Never forget it. We're done. Jim is doing well. He's in the med bay, but I don't think he wants to talk to anyone. I'm here to talk to you, Valerian. You know I am going to Core Hall now, correct? I do. You plan to kill my father. He's had this coming for a long time. I need to know where you stand. I stand for my people. I've accepted that my father is beyond redemption, and must be removed from power. I'm glad we understand each other. I'm going to Core Hall. It's time. Why are you telling us this, Kerrigan? There will be ruin, destruction, millions can die amid the chaos. Valerian, your people will need a leader. You're right, Kerrigan. They will. If I'm to be that leader, I'll ask only one thing of you. Bring your swarm down outside the city. That will give us time to evacuate. Korhal is going to be the most difficult battle of my life. And you're asking me to make it harder. I am. I was wrong about you, Valerian. You're not like your father. I'll give you your chance. Make the most of it. My queen, the swarm has assembled above Korhal. The brood mothers await your command. Tell them to hold position in orbit. Stay out of range of the planet's defenses. Dominion fleets are converging on our position. Terran troops are arriving from all over the sector. Broodmother Kalisa, hear me. Have your Leviathans form a blockade. Kill anything coming into the system. Nothing will stop us. Korhal is mine. I sense a broad frequency emanating from the palace in Augustgrad. Yes, I sense it too. I can hear. Dominion forces, this is your emperor, Arcturus Minsk. Korhal is under attack by the Zerg Swarm. Our special weapons lab has been destroyed. Our defenses stripped. Any fleet that can hear my voice, return to Core Hall. The seat of human power is under assault. Come in. Defend your home. Trapped like a rat in a cage, aren't you, Arcturus? I have never seen so many Terrans. They are pulling everything back to defend this world. Their orbital defenses will kill millions of us before we even hit the ground. The Terrans have no chance. We are numberless. We are the Swarm. I need a weapon to destroy Korhal's orbital defenses, and I need it fast. Can modify virophage sequence. Would concentrate bile. Expel as projectile. Can you get it working in time? Survival of Swarm dependent on evolution. Iteration. Trust process. Trust sequences. Swarm will not fail. My queen, your leviathans are in position. Unleash the swarm. 
We will lose countless drop pods in the opening moments. We're sending millions. Even if only a fraction gets through, it'll still be more than enough to take out these orbital defenses from the ground. Launcher has broken through the orbital defense network. Zerg, blast it! Dominion ground forces have secured this area. Our bio launchers cannot survive without support. I'm going to handle this personally. Send in all the drop pods. They should be centered around this region. Alert me the moment one breaks through. I'll make sure the launcher survives. The first bio launcher and its escort are entering Core Hall's atmosphere. Show me where it will land. It will arrive here, my queen. You've made a grave mistake. Setting foot on my world, Kerrigan. I will deliver you and your swarm back to whatever hell you crawled out of. The Dominion's Draken Defense Network is destroying most of our bio launchers in orbit. Which means we can't afford to lose the ones that get through. The final gate has fallen. Move quickly! Zagara. Take your brood into the city while I secure the bio launchers. Yes, my queen. A bio launcher will make landfall here momentarily. Dominion forces are in full retreat. Isha, have my brood mothers deploy their forces. Zagara, move your brood further into the city. Take up positions around the palace. Yes, my queen. It's time to dethrone an emperor. Your revenge is close now. Nothing can stop it. Don't underestimate Minsk. He is by far the most cunning enemy we've ever faced. If I should fall, you must take the swarm from Kor Hall. Flee? This is not the way of the Zerg. Yet it is my will. You will obey my command, and take the swarm to seek our true enemy. Find Amon. Destroy him before he can enslave the swarm again. As you command. You sit in that palace like a spider at the center of its web. But your web is falling apart around you, Minsk. Here you are, at the enemy's doorstep. It is almost over. I don't think it will be that simple. It never is with Arcturus. He thinks around you, that one. He knows where you'll walk before you do. But you've been part of so many of his plans. As accomplice or victim? I am sure you learned a trick or two, yes? I did. We'll find out very soon if I was a good student. There were so many ways to fail. I feared we would not make it to the surface, but we did. You have made us so powerful, but when you have your revenge, will you leave us? I am one with the Swarm, Isha. If we survive this fight, we have even greater battles ahead. We will face them together. Kerrigan. Look at what you have wrought. Thousands dead, all for your revenge. Their blood is on your hands, Arcturus. You made every part of this happen. I have done great and terrible things, it is true. And I would again, to protect humanity from monsters like you. You use words like weapons, Arcturus, but words cannot save you now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I have other weapons. I just wanted to say goodbye, Kerrigan. Our outlying broods are being eradicated. 
The Terrans have deployed a side destroyer. It corrupts our own hive mind, ripping us apart from the inside. The field will quickly kill any Zerg who enters it. Understood. Listen to me, all of you. The Dominion will launch an assault in a moment. A diversion. To keep us from dealing with the side destroyer. Yes, and we're going to let them think we're diverted. Zagara, you have the swarm. Hold the middle. Stukov, take a force and screen her flanks. And the Haka. This is your moment. The device uses this Psy connection you share. But I do not have a Psy connection. I will not need it. Exactly. Gather your pack. Let's see what your Psy Destroyer can do, Minsk. This swarm is going to be torn apart. We have to shut down this field now! Dahaka, this is the central hub of the Psy Destroyer. We're going to bring it offline permanently. The Psy Destroyer uses power links to extend its range. Disable them, and the field will shut down temporarily. This field poses no threat to me. I will rip apart this power link myself. Once the field is down, I'll command the swarm and destroy their defenses. Then it is time to act. What is that... creature? I must go. I gather my pack. We will return and destroy the next power link. The destroyer field is down. Prepare a hive cluster for combat. The side destroyer is rerouting power. The field will reactivate shortly. Keep me informed on its progress, Isha. For now, I'm going to crush the Dominion. Energy spike detected. The destroyer field will reactivate soon. All forces, pull back to the hive cluster. Kerrigan, you and your swarm will never threaten humanity again after today. Dahaka, the field's returned. I've pulled back the swarm. It's up to you now. My pack is ready, eager to destroy the power link. My task is complete. I will return. We've brought down the field. Strike now! I will defend humanity from you, Kerrigan. There's only one power link left. Destroy it. Terrans, we will break your weapon again. We come for your power link. Spawn, now will be your time. Collect their essence. Warning! The Swarm cannot withstand the Destroyer Field. Our forces must pull back. My task is complete. I will return. The Psy Destroyer Field is permanently offline. We don't rest until that hub is destroyed. All forces strike now! For the Swarm! We've done it! The Psy Destroyer is finished! Zagara, report! We are pushing the Dominion into the Imperial Sector now! Was that your last card, Minsk? It wasn't good enough. Can you feel it, Minsk? All your plans, and lies, and manipulations are crashing down around you. Soon. All the pain you've caused will come back to you. In one hour, either Arcturus Minx will be dead, or I will. If I'm still alive, I will set out to find Amon. The fallen Zilnaga, a being of unknowable power. There's no way we can win. Then why fight? 
because the only other option is to lie down and die. Well, I never wanted to die lying down. So, fight a god to the bitter end? That sounds like a worthy death. I am with you. Whatever comes, I am ready, my queen. Even if we fall and die in this battle, we've already done the impossible. We've shattered the power of Minsk. It will be up to the Terrans to make something of the opportunity. That means nothing to the future of the Swarm. True. But there are still Broodmothers in orbit with their Leviathans. The Swarm will continue, no matter what. And it will be changed. Forever. You've served me well, Dahaka. I collect much essence from following. I'm glad to hear it. I still need you in my swarm. The essence still flows. I still change. I still follow. That's all there is to say. Now it's time for action. I will remember what you told me, my queen. But now the time for words is past. Let us kill. You're right, Sigara. And there's no one I'd rather have as my second for this battle. Swarm has evolved into powerful weapon. Greatest leader. Greatest? Abathur. Everything I've done to the Swarm has been for my own revenge. Queen determines purpose. When purpose changes, Swarm changes. This our function. You know, sometimes you're not so bad, Abathur. Unclear. The Northeast Sector is clear. We're behind in the Eastern Corridor. It's time, Valerian. The evacuation is still underway. I can't afford to hold back any longer. Promise me you'll avoid civilian centers. I can't do that. Our tourists would see that pattern in my movements and use it against me. Then millions will die. All right. Just stay out of my way, and I'll do what I can. Kerrigan, the die is cast. This is the last day your swarm darkens the sky of any planet. Torhal will endure, as will I. Nice quote. I'll engrave it on your tombstone. Isha, Zagara, Stukov, Dahaka. All my brood mothers, all my queens, hear me. The time for planning and deliberation is past. Now we tear them down, attack, and do not stop until they are all dead. And yet they still won't be enough to save you. How many bodies will you hide behind? I've had enough of your tongue. Men, whack them out! I sense... No. It can't be. My queen, a Terran battlecruiser is inbound on your location. There's something familiar about... Jim? Let's finish the job. I didn't think you would come back. We're both tied up in whatever happens here today. We do it together. Jim, thank you. Thank me later. It's time you put your war face on. Jim, weren't you supposed to be evacuating civilians? Valerian and Horner got that handled. I had other things to do. All right. Keep that left flank clear while I go put a hurt on Mengsk. The way is clear, Zagara. Move your troops into the sector. With pleasure, my queen. The avenue is clear of defenders. Dahaka, send your pack into the city. Yes, 
We will feast upon their essence. Stuko, your path is clear. Understood. Let's finish this. The dominion of man is stronger than you. We will see your ashes spread to the wind. Men, stop the Queen of Blades! For humanity! Zagar, take command. I have an appointment with the Emperor. Long live the Queen! Surprised you haven't tried to escape. Escape? <laughs> My dear, I'm afraid you've got it all wrong. Did you think I'd keep an animal like you close to me without some kind of insurance policy? Clearly, you are my greatest failure. Now, at long last, you will die. Change of plans. You can never suffer enough for all the lies you ruined, Arcturus. I made you into a monster. Gun. You made us all into monsters. Thank you, Jim. For everything. My pleasure, darling.
now see my true enemy. He waits for me in the void, wielding powers I cannot imagine. I go to face him, having renounced everything. My humanity. My identity. The man I love. But I will not face this enemy alone. I am the Swarm.